Hello all, welcome back to my YouTube channel. In my last video, I'd explained about how to create chart of account structure, chart of account structure instance, legal entity, business unit, segment values manually. So that definitely takes a lot of time to create all those uh, configurations uh, manually. So in today's video, I'll show you how to create the same that is uh, creating the chart of account structure, instance, legal entity, business unit, segment values using a spreadsheet. So the advantage of uh, uh, uploading these data through spreadsheet is you can use the same spreadsheet to upload the data into different environments. So first log into your Fusion environment and once you log into your Fusion environment, click under uh, your username and then navigate to setup and maintenance. And then uh, click on task and then click on search and here search for uh, create startup accounts so here you can see create chart of accounts ledger legal entity business units in spreadsheet so click on this so once you click on uh, that particular hyperlink uh, uh, it will download the rapid implementation uh, spreadsheet so open the spreadsheet read only locked for editing uh, that's fine click on read only i think i would have opened a similar template earlier okay click on enable editing <clears throat> and here you can see under instruction there is a lot of information which is uh, available Let's close the other spreadsheet yeah, there is a lot of information which is available so we can uh, read this information which will give the uh, lot of information on how to uh, create chart of accounts calendar ledger business unit companies and legal entities and so on so first let me go to the template so under this first uh, worksheet here you can create the chart of account calendar and the ledger and then this is where uh, based on the information whatever you enter here the business units will be created which are nothing but kind of a operating unit and then the companies and the legal entities national account and the financial uh, sequences which is uh, kind of a document sequences in uh, release 12 but like if you want to see the sample data or how the data looks like before you actually uh, upload the data into the environment so what you can do is you can click on this sample data <clears throat> so this is how the data looks like or this is how the data should be entered in order to upload the data into fusion so enter your ledger so as far as the uh, ledger is concerned enter your ledger name the currency uh, the calendar adjusting period physical start date of your uh, calendar and then the segments so these are all the different segments uh, flex fill qualifiers and the short prompt and the display length of these uh, segments and here you can see business units you can specify your <coughs> business units and the default legal entity of those business units so here you can specify the companies that is company segment values the parent child segment values the company description as well as the corresponding legal entities of those companies so here you can see uh, if you want to create your legal entity legal address needs to be uh, mentioned so legal address information is available here the legal entity registration number and other stuff and the uh, under this particular tab you specify the natural account so in the same worksheet you specify the child as well as the parent accounts the account type the financial category and other additional information so wherever there is a star star uh, refers to the mandatory information and uh, as you have uh, these segments company line of business account cost center product and intercompany you have so many tabs one tab for each of the segment so this is the we have seen the company national accounts and then line of business so under line of business 
you have a couple of segment values here. Similarly, you have different segment values for the cost center product and so on. So let us assume if I try to create a one more segment here. So maybe I just create another segment by name, say future segment. And I do not provide any uh, flexible qualifier, it's not mandatory. And uh, short uh, prompt is say FS and display length is say 5. Now I do not have any additional tab to enter the uh, details for my segment future. So if you want to do that, you need to do what you need to do is you need to click on add segment sheet. So once you click on add segment sheet, automatically a sheet is added to enter the segment values here. Okay. Now I do not want this, so I just delete this. <laughs> I'll not delete this particular segment value and uh, I'll uh, click on say validate. So when I click on validate, I, ideally I expect a error message because I did not enter the worksheet for the future segment does not exist. Please add the segment sheets button. Okay. As I have deleted, I'm getting this error message. Now let me go back to this sheet and delete this segment. Delete the segment. Now click on validate. Okay, here you can see validation is successful. No errors found. Do you want to preview the sample report? Say yes. So this is how your financial statements uh, looks like based on the uh, segment values, whatever you have entered. So these are the national accounts and this is how your financial statements looks like for your segment values. So this is just for our information perspective. Okay, so once you complete the filling of the uh, details for all the segment values, you can very well use the same uh, template whatever Oracle has provided and then just update those values. The next thing what you need to do is click on something called generate chart of accounts file. So click on generate chart of accounts file. So once you click on generate chart of accounts file, a zip file gets created so save that zip file on your desktop similarly step three is click on generate le and bu file that is like uh, creation of the legal entity in bu file click on this and once you click on that uh, a zip file again gets created for the le and bu so again save this in your desktop okay so this is how you enter your uh, segment values, validate them, generate the files, and the next step is uploading of these details into Oracle Fusion. So I'll show how to upload those uh, details into Oracle Fusion in my next video. So as far as this particular video is concerned, uh, my focus is on showing how the segment values needs to be entered in the template and uh, to give you an overview of the template so through a single template you should be able to create your chart of account calendar ledger business units uh, segment values uh, uh, etc just using a single template so please wait for my next video wherein i'll show you how to upload the segment values thank you thanks for watching my video for interesting videos on oracle financials please do subscribe to my channel thank you